my name is Giovanna Proenz and today we're going to talk about practice problems week 8. And in this problem, we only have this Radio Shack Redo to work with. So what is going on in our problem? Basically, we are receiving a folder. All right, I'm going to open up this folder in here. And the folder contains three folders inside. So we have this Radio 1996, Radio 1997 and Radio Today. Let's see what are these things. So basically in the Radio 1996, we have some files here and we can open up if you type in HTTP server in your terminal and it will give you a hyperlink so you can open up the website. All right. Basically in this problem, we have these three folders and we're going to redo our website using Bootstrap. And Bootstrap is a really good uh, library that we have all available online and for free to make the some templates more pretty in our website. So we can use some built-in templates to create a button, to create a nav bar, to make things look nicer in a website without looking as this website in here that is so 1996. So we have this website here in 1996. We also have the version of 1997, if I'm not mistaken. And then the, there are some little differences because now we have this table and this is so old and we don't want to do something like this. We're going to work with Bootstrap to create some aspects similar to this one, but in the way that we want. So let's start from the beginning here in the implementation details. We're going to start redesign by type trying out Bootstrap navbar feature to easily create a custom navigation. So instead of having this navigation here that we're seeing with store, Stevens, blah, 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 Radio Shack services and so on. We're going to use a nav bar that already exists and it will look something like that. This is Bootstrap. Okay. And we're going to do something similar to this. We can copy some structures and it will display for us exactly what we're seeing. We can use image and a text and so on. Or we can use a regular nav bar here that it's already implemented the part of CSS, HTML and JavaScript. So if we click, we're going to be redirected exactly where we want. All right, so let's try it out. Here, they're telling us to copy this nav bar and paste in our code. How Bootstrap works? Basically, Bootstrap contains some classes, as we can see here, class navbar. And this class navbar, it's a class that exists in Bootstrap and has some styling made in there. So for example, it will make all in a row with some margin and padding with the color, with a font size. And this navbar expand LG will create another structure for us. This container fluid will create another structure for us. So this is pretty good because each class that we're seeing here already contains some CSS and JavaScript read, uh, written. Uh, behind the scenes and we'll create a very nice look for us. So let's try out this navbar. So far, let's see how it looks like our website. So I'm running here. If we open up radio today, we will see that we have this simple page called Hello World. Now we're going to implement this navbar that we want. So as I mentioned, we're going to copy and we're going to paste in our code. So here we have to paste inside of our body. All right. So let's remember a little bit about HTML. In HTML, we have two parts. So we have the head, that is everything that is not visual, and the body, that is everything that is visual. When I say not visual is the links that we're going to have for other files, for example, CSS, or in here, as we can see, our line seven is a link to download our CSS from Bootstrap. We also have the title, that is the name of the tab, and we have this viewport and so on. So these are some structures that we can download if you put in quotation mark to download and allow us to use in our code. The body tag is everything that is visual. So for example, here we're saying H1 hello world and it's visual for us here in the screen. So this is where we should have our navbar. So if I paste here the navbar we just copy, let's see what happens. So if I refresh in here, we will see that now we have the navbar that we imported here from Bootstrap. And we just need to change for the message we want. Okay, so let's do some changes. So in here, instead of features, let's see what are the messages we have to say. I'm going to change the message here, they mentioned, to change this to represent appropriate menu items for our radio. So what are the menu items in our radio. It's all of these ones that we're seeing. Sorry, all of these ones in here. So we're going to add this data. I'm going to copy from here this navbar. So star locator and here. How can we find what is the appropriate part we have to change? We want to change home, for example. So I'm going to search where I have this message home. And as we can see, it's exactly here. So I'm going to change this for Giovanna, for example. And we will see that if I change the text here and refresh, now we have Giovanna here, exactly what we're seeing. So our goal right now is to change the navbar to these names in here. So store locator, for example, here I'm going to do store locator. And if I refresh here, we have exactly what we want. And I'm going to change for the other ones. So the next one we have in our website is features. And I want to change to Steve's workbench. So here I'm going to change features to Steve's workbench. And we're going to do this for all of the items we have. And I will be right back. 
All right, so now I added all these items in here in our uh, HTML. And if I refresh, we will see exactly what we're seeing here, navbar and the name of all the items we want. Here we have this disable, we don't need this. So if we want, we just need to erase. And now if I refresh, we don't have the disable anymore. Perfect. Now let's work with the second part and later on we're gonna work with this navbar in here. Now they're telling us that we need to create here, we're gonna create a page where we can have two columns, exactly what we have in our 90s, but without using table. Here we have the part of the sidebar and here we have the part of the page and they want us to do this structure without using table and we're more than capable of doing that. If you see here they kind of tell us what is the commands they did and clearly that's a lot. It's much easier if we use bootstrap and we can use here columns. Basically in columns we can align the divs according to the columns that we want. So for example, if we want to, we can align vertically here, so depending on the structure we want, we can align them in this other way, and we can have a horizontal alignment, so we can have more in the left, more in the right, or we can have some space in between them. Our goal is not creating the vertical, the vertical alignment, is working with the horizontal alignment. We want to split our screen into two, where we're going to have a little space in the left and a huge space in the right, and this is exactly what we have in here. So how can we do this? Let's take a look here in the horizontal alignment. I want to create two columns and I'm going to do the default. So if we want to work with these two columns, we can use this div here that we're seeing. So we have a div and we have the class row. So row means that we're working, we're putting the divs in a row, not in a column. And we have this justify content start. So the justify content start will put everything here in the beginning and we're going to leave some empty space in there. We have the second div in here that it's row again and we have the justify content center and if we take a look here the second example they are aligned in the horizontal but we are in the center they are in the center we have empty spaces in the left and in the right we can use another alignment here that it's the justify content end so in the end here where it's gonna be the opposite of the start so the end we're gonna align starting from the right and in the left we can leave some space then the other one is this justify content around. So this around will create a space in between the two divs, as we can see here, and they still have some space in the other parts as well. The other one is the content justify content between. And here in the between, we can see that they have space only in between them. We don't have spaces in the margin here. And the final one is the justify content evenly, where we have the same space here in the left, in the middle, and in the right of them. Okay? For this specific part, you can select which one you want, but the main important part is having this row and justify content something. So I'm gonna copy here this part div and we're gonna implement right after our navbar. All right, I'm gonna remove this hello world. I don't want this anymore. And let's see what happens if I refresh here. So we're supposed to see here, one column of two and then another one column of two. So here we have the two spaces that we were mentioning. And here I can say the message sidebar. I don't wanna implement everything. So here I'm gonna say sidebar. And here I'm gonna say main page. And then you can play around if you want. The main idea here is understanding the concepts, the styling you can work in the future. And then let's see what happens. If I change here, instead of justify content start, if I put here end, we're gonna see that now they will be aligned to the end of the page. So now if we see, we're working with the end and we have some space in here.